Hi, it's Mighty Mommy here, and I'm going to share some creative, insightful, and practical parenting tips with you. I'm your host, Cheryl Butler. The grandparents are joining you and your family for dinner tonight, and everyone is really looking forward to the delicious pot roast they've smelled cooking all day long in the anticipation of this fun mealtime. Everyone is finally gathered at the table, and before the first roll can be passed, your 18-month-old decides it would be much more fun to hurl his potatoes at Grandma's head. His aim is pretty good, too. And he not only hits her, the gravy that was once clinging to the potatoes is now spattered on your four-year-old in her brand new dress. <sighs> Here we go again. Toddlers may not say a lot, but they sure do know a lot. And one thing most have in common is testing the waters. Food throwing is not something they decide to do just to get you aggravated or to make a mess. They have much smarter reasoning. They want to see how you will react after it's done. Keep in mind that when they test you with an, any annoying behavior, such as throwing food or throwing a tantrum, that you need to teach them that there are limits and consequences for these actions, and then set them and follow through. Today, I'm going to talk about some strategies to help you if your child throws her food at the table. If you are tired of your toddler turning mealtime into a food-throwing Olympic event, you are definitely not alone, and your veteran Mighty Mommy here who has been there, done that, eight times, has five tips for you that can help your child keep food on their plate and not in the air. Tip number one, limit the food on your toddler's plate. When food throwing becomes a definite pattern at mealtimes, take a good look at how much food you are placing in front of your child. Place just a few bites worth of food on her plate and encourage her to eat by sitting down next to her and modeling how you eat food. Be simple and direct. You might say, Mommy loves her chicken. Then place a piece on your fork. Eat it and smile and say yummy. See if your daughter will imitate you. This may take several or more tries. Believe me, I know. But if you don't let her see that she's going to get a reaction out of you, when she throws something, eventually she is going to stop. Tip number two. Is your child bored or hungry? I saw a pattern with my children that were the food throwers in our family. They weren't hungry. Because we have a large family, especially when they were younger, it was hard to get the toddlers to want to eat at our regular family dinner time because they just weren't hungry at that time. The food throwing was a means of entertainment for them because they just had no desire to eat at that time. I started feeding my toddler-aged kids one hour before our family dinner and this cut food throwing down nearly 75% at our table. Tip number three, redirect the throw. Sometimes there was absolutely no rhyme or reason to what type of food one of my kids would throw. Most times it was a vegetable or something they were just not interested in. But other times it was one of their favorites, like macaroni and cheese. I put two plastic bowls on the high chair, or at the table, that were empty. And when I saw my son pick an item up that I knew he was going to hurl, I tried to redirect the throw by showing him the empty bowls and saying, Connor, you don't need to throw the food. Put it in the bowl instead. This took a few meals and a few attempts at showing him. But eventually, when he went to take the food that he was going to throw, he would put it in one of the bowls. Of course, a couple of times he did empty the bowls on the floor, but then I simply removed him from the high chair or the table and told him that mealtime was now all done. Tip number four, distract your child's attention. Try letting your child play with a spoon or child-appropriate fork when they are eating a meal. Learning to use cutlery certainly has its own challenges, but a new experience like learning to lift some yogurt or pasta from plate to mouth can temporarily take your little darling's mind off of throwing the food to actually doing something different with it, feeding it to herself by another means or uh, other than using her fingers. Kids love to model what they see, and when they see the rest of the family using silverware, they are interested in giving it a try themselves. Tip number five, end the meal if the food throwing continues. If you've tried any of the suggestions above, and the food throwing continues after a gentle reminder that mealtime is for eating, not playing, it's time to end the meal. Clear your child's plate and remove him from the high chair or table. You can lovingly but firmly say, we eat our food, we don't throw it. You must not be hungry right now, so we'll wait until dinner now until we try again. Only do this, however, if you plan on being consistent. Don't remove her from the table and then bargain with her if she doesn't throw her food that she can sit back down again. You are not going to starve her or cause psychological damage by doing this a few times until she gets the message. Kids are much smarter than we give them credit for. Once they see that you mean business, they will eventually stop the bad behavior 
until they find something else to test you with, and you'll be enjoying meals together in no time. Young children throwing food is one of the most normal yet frustrating behaviors that we parents face, especially when we dine out at a restaurant or when it continues for what seems an eternity. Stay tuned in to your child when this happens. It could be as simple as she's just not hungry, or more likely, she's feeling her oats, not eating them. Try one or two of the tips above, and remember to stay consistent. That's key. And don't let them see you get frustrated. This too shall pass, and someday you'll be sharing these strategies with other parents who will be facing the same messy situation. If you have a question or have a suggestion for a future Mighty Mommy episode, please email me at mommy at quickanddirtytips.com. Check out the Mighty Mommy Facebook page where I share lots of quick parenting tips all week long. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mighty Mommy or join Mighty Mommy on Pinterest.com where you can visit all of my family-friendly boards. Enjoy those family mealtimes with your toddler. And as always, happy parenting. Happy parenting.